All right, I want to have a little chit chat today, guitar related chat about intonation on a guitar and what can cause you to have to adjust your intonation. Most times it's from the factory where they make the guitar and they set it up. A lot of times if you get them made like in China or Indonesia, something like that, you will have to adjust it when you get it home. And then the second reason that you may have to adjust it or will have to adjust it is your strain gauge. When you change strain gauges. Now going from 9s to 10s isn't that big of a jump. So you may not have to. There is a chance you will. But if you're going from what 9s to 11, 54 or 12s you will have to adjust your intonation to accommodate the extra tension so that your notes sound in tune. So, you can get the guitar with your intonation out. You can get the guitar tuned up and play G chord, C chord, D chord. It will sound in tune. But when you move higher up the neck, it will start. the notes will start to sound out of tune. So that's what intonation is. The length of of the string to make sure the notes produce what note it should be and not be sharp or flat all up and down the neck. And so how would you adjust your intonation? The best way to do it is to have an electronic tuner and uh, there's a trick I found out about it. So you'll tune your guitar up, check your tuner, make sure it's in perfect tune. So the zero, it's right on the zero, the little needle. If it is flat and the needle goes this way, that's the way that your saddle needs to move. If it goes this way, that's the other way the saddle needs to move. So if it's sharp this way, it's called chase the needle, go that way. And then if it's flat, chase the needle this way so if it's flat it goes towards the neck if it's sharp it goes away from the neck on Floyd Rose you'll have to make multiple intonation adjustments before you get it right and I'll have to do a video to show you guys what you do to do that the best way to, to uh, adjust your intonation on a fixed bridge guitar is to tune the string you're working on completely slack so the saddle moves freely when you adjust it. So that's all I had to say about that. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. See you later.